Welcome to this lesson on how to round decimal numbers to the nearest whole number. And in this first example, I'm going to round 24.5 to the nearest whole number. And the way you do it is you need to know which are the whole numbers first of all. And they're always the numbers that are on the left of this point, decimal point. And the decimal part of this decimal number or the decimal numbers are numbers that are on the right of the point. So to round this to the nearest whole number means I've got to get rid of that point and that 5 after deciding whether to round that 4 up or keep it the same. And the way you decide that is you look at the next number to the right of that 4, which is this 5, and if this number is, if the number on its right is a 5 or more, which it is, that means you round that 4 up 1. And really what you're doing is you're just adding 1 to the number 24, which would make it 25. So to the nearest whole number, 24.5 is equal to 25. In the second example, I'm going to use the same number, or nearly the same number, and I'm going to do this one because sometimes students think, well, does this 9 affect whether I round that 4 up or not? So I'm still rounding this number to the nearest whole number, and that means I've got to look at this 4, and the number on its right is the only one that's important. Any numbers that come after that number that I'm looking at to decide whether to round that up or not don't matter. So it doesn't matter what any numbers after that 4 are. It's only the 4 that's important. So again, the number on the right of this 4, which is the one that I'm either rounding up or keeping the same, the number on its right is this 4. And because it's not 5 or more, that means I don't round that 4 up or down. It just stays the same. And so to the nearest whole number, that number 24.49 is equal to 24. So in example 3, I want to round this number to the nearest whole number. And this is where it can get a little bit tricky. So again, whole number to the nearest whole number means I need to look at this number again, which is in the units column. And the number on its right is a 9. So because that is 5 or more, that means I have to round this 9 up 1. So it would actually become a 10. And really what I'm doing is I'm going 29 plus 1. And you know the answer to that. So 9 plus 1 is 10. Put down the 0, carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So this would be 30. So another way of doing that would be to, to say, well, what's the next number after 29, the next whole number? And that would be 30. So that would be another way of rounding that 9 up 1, just looking for the next whole number after 29. So 29.99 rounded to the nearest whole number is the number 30. In this last example, I want to round this to the nearest whole number. And once again, looking at the number in the units column, which is this 9, the number on its right is this 8, which is 5 or more. So that means I have to round that 9 up 1. So what I'm really doing is adding 1 to 4,799, which would be 4,800. And then, so if you're not sure what a number becomes, you can always do, like I did in the last example, set it up like this and just add 1 to it. 9 plus 1 is 10. Put down the 0, carry the 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, put down the 0, carry the 1, 7 plus 1 is 8, and then 4 plus nothing is nothing. And that's another way of rounding this up 1. So some key things you need to remember. The whole numbers are always the numbers on the left of the decimal point, and the decimal numbers are the numbers on the right of the decimal point. This number immediately before or immediately on the left of the point, that is the units column. And when you're rounding a decimal number to the nearest whole number, you need to focus on this number in the units column. And then you're looking for the number on its right. If it's five or more, you round this up one. If this number is a zero, a one, a two, or a three, or a four, then that number stays the same. And that's the information you need to be able to round a decimal number to the nearest whole number. So that's about it for this lesson and I will see you in the next one.